Right then guys, um, first ever YouTube video. Now, I'm not a professional, I'm just a weekend warrior. It's my own car, so I'm going to show you the difference between me and a lot of these YouTube videos that you already see. Uh, now, when it comes to the wheels that I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you the two front wheels and I'm going to do them in two different methods. The one is the one you see a lot of, typically on YouTube and the one that I second one I'll do is the one the way I do it now I'll show you the video of the wheels first before I even rinse the car off or anything like that um, so you can get a good view of the wheels before I do any cleaning of them of any sort or even rinse them for, for that purpose so by all means here this is the first one <clears throat> so front driver's side pretty baked Pretty shit, to be fair. Probably get done for swearing. And then that's the other one. So it's pretty ingrained in there. Probably can't hear me very well because it's my first video. I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong, but you can see it. And they're the two wheels. So basically, what I'm going to do is the driver's wheel. I'm going to do in the typical fashion of YouTube, where I'm going to spray the wheel with uh, wheel cleaner. Uh, my go-to wheel cleaner is Built Humber. Um, you know, where people don't even rinse the wheel off, they'll just spray the product on, rub it all in, and then rinse it off. Um, but that's not what I prefer to do. I think you're wasting product. Um, on the passenger side wheel, what I'll do is I'll show you if I can. I'm gonna rinse the wheel off first with a pressure washer then I'm going to spray the tyre and the rim with some all-purpose cleaner that's diluted down. Then, once I've rinsed all that off, then I'm going to use the Built Hamber uh, Auto Wheel Wheel Cleaner um, and use it to its full effect to pull out all the real stubborn um, ingrained dirt on the wheel off uh, without wasting tons of product because I think if you're going to spray the wheel as it is now that you can see, then you're gonna end up reapplying some more and with wheel cleaners, you know, I think it's just a general waste of product when you can get just as good results for taking, you know, a couple of minutes just to rinse, bit of APC, bit of brushing, and, you know, achieve the, the, the same result but without the wastage. So, back in a minute. All right then, back to this one. Uh, this is the passenger side wheel whichever I said it was um, this one I'm going to spray the built hammer uh, straight onto the wheel and tire um, agitate leave it for a few minutes agitate it and then rinse it off and you know see if it gets the same results as a lot of these other YouTube people get um, I don't think it will and it's not the way I prefer to do it but for clarity's sake here's what I'll be using so I've got my Easy detailing brushes, one big, one small. Uh, scrubbing brush for the tyre, obviously a little brush with some tape on it to protect the paint of the wheel. Not that the wheels are in the best condition anyway, because they aren't, they're not factory fresh or anything, but they are my wheels. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, let you watch this, and I'll pause it while the product's just sitting there for a couple of minutes, and then we'll resume once that's uh, had time to dwell. Vent inside the barrels because you'll need it. People don't like the smell, but I personally love it. So I'll pause that while that's doing that. Right, here we are back. As you can see, it's had a couple of minutes to uh, work its magic. Now I'm going to just agitate it in the hard to reach areas, give the tyres a good scrub and then obviously rinse it down. Now I always use, and I always use hot water. I don't know about a lot of other people, whether they use cold water or hot, but me, I use hot. Hot and everything, and then obviously rinsing is cold anyway. So I'm gonna go 
agitate it and then we'll see what it looks like when it's all rinsed off and then the next part of the video will be the driver's side which will do the way I do things so here goes camera dry while I rinse it off.
So, first impressions, not too bad, but still some areas where, you know, more product would have been ideal. Like I said, these rims aren't perfect, wheels, whatever you are, American or English, you know, quite a bit of uh, residue left in the barrels, which, you know, they're going to be there because they're not perfect. So that's the first one. I will be going over that wheel again. So next video, next part, should I say, will be my version. Right then, this wheel, driver's side, front again. Uh, same general condition, if you can see it very well on the video. And this way we're going to do it my way. So I'm going to rinse the wheel first. Hopefully try not to drown the camera or phone. Um, then I'm going to give it a dousing of diluted TFR. Uh, agitated with the brushes in hot water as per the passenger wheel. Rinse again. Then I'm going to spray the uh, auto wheel uh, on it. Uh, just because I believe that that is just a way of getting more of the grime off, more of the brake dust, more of the contaminants, so that when you come to use the built Amber Auto wheel or whatever wheel iron out you're using, you don't need to spray it as liberally. Therefore, you know, saving you not just money, but it might not save you time, but it's a, it's a better way, I think. But all you trolls out there, you're gonna be straight on. Oh, first video, you're talking a load of smack, all that crap bring it on but that's the way I do it okay so here we go see if you can hear me the TFR just gets rid of all of the loose uh, contaminants of the wheel so that when you spray the auto wheel on it's using it to its full potential to get into the really deep ingrained stuff which it might not penetrate down enough if you just do like we did on the passenger wheel and just spray it straight on the wheel but that's my views sure many of you will jump on the video and uh, tell me I'm wrong. Thank you. 
rinse. on the wheel yes but it's had a light scrub of TFR and nothing else um, obviously we've rinsed all of the loose stuff off the wheel before we put any cleaners on it at all so now I'm just going to spray a small amount of the built handle auto wheel on the wheel and it will still react and you will still see it pulling stuff off but it'll have a lot less work to do than it did on the passenger wheel sprays for all your trolleys out there. Just spraying it on. So we'll pause while that agitates. Right then, back again. So we've let it dwell for a couple of minutes. Um, just going to agitate it simply like we did the last one um, and then rinse off and see if there's any noticeable difference. So here goes.
yeah there's a lot less lighting's crap you can tell it's my first video there's a lot less left in the barrels I mean obviously I've got the main wash of the car to do yet but pound for pound that's my preferred way of doing the wheels yes there's still bits to go over but I'll get them when I wash the car with a microfiber mitt and whatever else I use but as a general you know when you see these YouTube videos and people are like blah, 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 with all the built hamber and whatever wheel cleaner they use I do just think it's a, a, a waste of product you know you might as well use the product to its full advantage and let it do as much work as it can on the most stubborn of grime for a lot better result so yes these wheels aren't perfect they send you know oh down in here look it's it's obviously there these haven't been off for a clean because they're just not in that good a condition to take off but as a general face value that's my preferred method you know so go on hate or love whatever you say you know everybody's different but that's my way right guys end of video one from prep by pete